Yeah. What were attracted you in New Zealand? What was the main uh, reason or attraction for you? To get it away from to get away from that Europe, but of all the time war. Oh, yeah. After that war, we thought we have to go get out of here as far as possible to a, a remote place. So, How did you have to and that was the main reason you went to New Zealand. That was the philosophy. And we saw a photo yeah. of Wellington, and we thought, no, that looks uh, very similar to uh, Amsterdam a bit. <laughs> In the years since he's been here, Jola Grau has managed to make New Zealand look more modern, more energy efficient, more distinctive than perhaps anyone else. With his partner, he established Lockwood Homes. Using the pine resource of the central North Island, the company has built more than 20,000 Lockwood Homes and commercial buildings. Yo came to New Zealand to escape the war, but the company he founded now employs an army. A thousand workers, including franchise builders, and he's still working. So, how old is this quintessential Dutchman? 78. So, uh, we keep up with swimming in the morning. That is our, uh, our uh, lifeline, I would say. Dutch immigration to New Zealand peaked in the mid 1950s. At that time, thousands of people were making the journey each year and it wasn't always a pleasant cruise. Jola Grau went ahead of his wife and five children. On their voyage, an arsonist lit several fires. There was illness, and one of their children died of leukemia near Australia. Reunited in Wellington, the family lived in a tent for some time. Not everyone goes over to another country with five children. It's not so easy, and uh, not many people are doing that. So the most immigrants here in New Zealand are already in, uh, in different types of the one who stay behind, I think. So there you get already a bit of a selection. Before they are sent into their communities, the new settlers will undergo a short but intensive course of instruction at the Immigration Department's training centre at Paiatua. There they'll learn something of New Zealand, its language and customs, its history and people. They must, of course, master the language, but they also have to learn less obvious but essential things, such as our system of weights and measures, and our coining. Now, children, I want you to say Christopher Robin with me. Are you ready? One, two. When they start their job, every penny of their wages will count. Every purchase will have to be seriously considered. Much better if you brought up uh, in a more difficult circumstances. That is why competition is so good. You need that competition because uh, you need that kick in the pants to uh, to be on your toes again. It's very important. And you don't want them. You don't want that competition. But it is like that. You have to think then again and find a way out. But you get those things that doesn't work. I made mistakes, terrible mistakes. And then I come back later year, over years. And if you make one mistake which is very small, in 100 houses, you get 100 times a little mistake. And that is then sometimes they hate you. Oh, but dumb that I did that. And then yeah, it is bad. But still, you try to correct it again. But now you think the change in your Yo continues to get plenty of practice at making and correcting his mistakes. He remains as head of research and development for Lockwood Homes, which his children now manage. His gift and skill was never as the marketer of the homes, but as the designer. And his leisure time hobby also involves art and design, for which the Dutch are renowned. It requires not only a keen eye, but also a thick skin for the criticism. They always criticism, but it's good. Uh, if my eldest son comes here, mostly looks at it and says, yes, but you, you have to get uh, that now. That is not right. You have to do this, or you have to do that. And I mean it all right, because sometimes I think, oh, it's all right now. It is, uh, it is sometimes uh, depressing, but on the other hand, it is so good. It is just like life. If you haven't got criticism, you're not coming any further, isn't it? And uh, people don't like it, really, if you criticize someone. Uh, the Dutch are really criticizers. They're terrible, and they, and they do it together, too. And it is in Holland just quite normal. That's criticizing each other. 
But yeah, you probably improve uh, the person. But he becomes sometimes a bit annoying, isn't it? It makes him also a bit uh, arrogant looking. Jo calls himself a typical Dutchman. He's direct. What he's achieved has been by hard work. He's family orientated and very proud of his Dutch heritage. But how much of what we are comes from our culture and how much from inside? I'm just an, uh, a determined man who want as much as possible likeness without being an artist. So I try and try again and try again to like get it. Determination, determination, just like business or my structural work or what it is in the business it is. But has your success more to do with determination or with luck? The problem with luck you have to get in. You have to work and make luck too. That is just what you said to you. have to take probably sometimes a bit of a calculated risk. And if you don't do that, you never get luck too. Because I can, I never get uh, in the lottery, I'm lucky. Never. I never win anything, anything. Because I never take the tickets. So there you got it, you see. I never take tickets, I never take, and in life you have to take tickets, and that is take a bit of a risk and calculate the risk. And then you got lucky, and then they say, oh, you're a lucky man. But I took some tickets, and every time I took another one and another one, and sometimes and I'm lucky. I think that is part of, of luckiness, that you have to create it. A bit. On Empire Day, the mayor and councillors of Wellington City give the country a lead in making a fitting ceremony of the granting of naturalisation. Of the many thousands of Dutch immigrants, most, including Jola Grau, have never taken out New Zealand citizenship. So does Jo see himself as a Kiwi or a Dutchman? I'm Kiwi for the country, to fight for it, to get things right, and to really do everything for the country too. And in my heart, you can't help that you're born Amsterdam or even. Even Amsterdam is different than all the other places. <laughs> it's like that. 